Hey y'all, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're with me. It is smelling like a church dinner up in here. And this is in collaboration with my friend Darlene. I'll tell you a little bit more about Darlene in just a minute, but welcome to my channel. I am Leslie, the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload video on cooking mostly, sometimes farming, sometimes grocery hauls, sometimes try on hauls, sometimes unboxing. You never know what you're gonna get. So I would love for you to please subscribe, hit that bell notification and give me a thumbs up. Do all that good stuff because I want you a part of the community of the Farm and Pastor's Wife. It's a sweet place to be. So let's get started on this um, smelling like a church supper up in here. <laughs> Okay guys, well like I said, this video is in collaboration with Darlene over at Super at 60, and that's S-O-U-P-E-R at 60. She is a sweet friend of mine, although I have never met her. She is absolutely precious. She cooks a lot like I do. I think she's got a little Southern in her. And um, this is kind of her baby, the uh, smelling like a church supper in here. Um, so. I am so excited. She asked me to do this collab when the, in the midst of my remodel, and I told her as soon as my remodel was done, and she reached out to me, and I was so excited that we're getting to do this. She is the sweetest person ever. When I reached a certain number of subscribers, she did a celebratory video for me. Now that, y'all, let me just tell you, in the YouTube world, that's a special girl right there. And I just want you to go over to her channel, go check it out. I'll link it down below. Go check her out and give her some loving because she is so sweet and so thoughtful to others. And I just want you to um, go give her some love and support. Be sure to subscribe to her channel because she's a hoot. She does decorating. I mean, she's really good at the decorating stuff and sets beautiful tables and all the stuff that I wish I did but sometimes I don't. <laughs> so I will link her channel. And as soon as I know what video is hers for this collab, I'll link it down below as well. But please do me the special favor of heading over there and showing her some support. So it is smelling like a church dinner up in here. And that's the truth because guess what? It is a church dinner. Yes, we are having our homecoming today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind to last night because I started the prep on this last night. So we're going to rewind to last night and then on to early this morning and I'll show you the finished product. It's called Caesar Chicken and oh my, it is good. Okay, y'all, so this is Saturday night. I am prepping my meal to take to church tomorrow for our homecoming service. And if I haven't already told you, you need to head on over to Super at 60. Once you watch this video, go check out Super at 60. Miss Darlene, she's making a church um, potluck di uh, dinner or entree or dessert or something to carry that would be great to carry to a church meal. All right, so what I've got here is, I think it's six big chicken breasts. And I'm going to just chunk them, I mean, not, I'm just, Cut them into big chunks. I've got two of my wonderful tin pans here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and spray this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep everything tonight and just get up in the morning while the coffee's baking. Uh, while the coffee's baking, oh my goodness. Sounds like I need some coffee. While the coffee's perking, I will, um, preheat my oven and get these babies in the oven and by the time I we get up really early y'all know I mean I don't guess y'all know but we do get up really early and um um so I will I need a sharper knife I think um so we're gonna and I'll get up early and stick it in there while I get ready it'll bake so it'll still be warm plus we have a nice warmer at church um, to put the meat in. I don't know if that's a gristle or what. All right. 
I'm going to leave some of the fat on just because to add flavor and it will melt away as it's cooking. Just want to check for any bones or anything like that. And so you see the size chunks I cut this into. That just makes it go further. So I'll just put them in this pan. All right. I'm going to keep doing this, guys. And once I get them all done, and I'm going to separate them into the two containers. Uh, and when I get ready to make the sauce, I'll bring you guys back in just a minute. And we'll see if I can find me a sharper knife. Okay, guys, I have them all cut up and divided into these two pans. And now I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. I'm not going to roll them around or anything. I'm just lightly seasoning them because the sauce we're going to put on this is going to be out of this world. And y'all know me and my pepper. I like me some pepper, so I will pepper it pretty good. All right, guys. Let me get out the stuff for the sauce, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, guys, let's get this sauce made, y'all. Oh, my mouth is watering as I'm thinking about it. All right, so we're going to go in with sour cream. If you don't like sour cream, you can leave it completely out. Um, might would add maybe a little more dressing. But um, you certainly can leave it out. It won't hurt a thing for you to leave it out. Why do they make these things so hard to get into? <laughs> but we happen to like sour cream, so I'm putting it in. I am putting it in. All right. Hands wiped off. All right, so I'm going to measure out a cup. All right, cup of sour cream going in the bowl. Now, like I said, I'm doubling this recipe. In the description, I'll put the um, actual recipe down below. I did get this recipe off Pinterest, by the way. I think it was Pinterest. Okay. So, now we're going to add two cups of a Caesar salad dressing. Um, I just picked up, this is not one that I would probably... I mean, it's, I just picked up a cheap one. Oh, goodness. Y'all, I can't get it open. I may have to wait for Bryant. <laughs> Hang on. Y'all, I could not get it open, so I took the knife and poked me a hole there. So we're going to squirt out two cups. Hopefully this is two cups. Oh, you know what? I believe this whole thing is two cups, but... It's 16 ounces. I know sometimes weight measurement and liquid measurements are different. Sorry for the lovely sound it's making. I may need to go get more Caesar dressing. I knew I should have got two. Let's scrape this one in here. Y'all, that looks like great dressing. It really does. I tell you what, I'm just going to go in with that whole bottle. Forget measuring it out, we're going in with the whole bottle. Oh, well, I busted the lid that time. Alright, let's 
give it just a little taste. Oh my word, that's good. A two brute. Is that Caesar? You know, I know that was Shakespeare, but. Wasn't that Julius Caesar? But. A two brute. Okay. So we're going to mix this up. You know, I'm going to try to divide this the best I can between the two um, chickens, but we're still not done. Oh my word, we have more to go. And we have a lot of this next ingredient to go. Now, since we're using a lot, um, I just bought, well, let me get a measuring cup. I just bought um, the grated, you know, pizza kind of Parmesan or, you know, the, that kind. Um, just because I'm using three cups of this and that would be like terribly expensive if you used, you know, fresh things of Parmesan. That looks like about two. So I've got another one here. Now y'all could sprinkle the chicken with some Italian seasoning or goodness, you could, there's the seasoning of this dish is endless. I'm keeping it kind of plain. Oh, not plain. There's nothing plain about Caesar chicken, but, um, you know, cause you don't, you're going to have so many different palates eating your food. There's about three cups of Parmesan cheese going in here. All right, I'm going to stir this up. Now remember, I'm fixing this just because for convenience sake for me, um, I'm doing this the night before, and I'm going to get up in the morning and cook it. So it's actually going to marinate in this good stuff. Oh, my. Oh, my. Y'all, my mouth is already watering, and the chicken ain't even cooked. <laughs> Still raw. All right. So, let's see. I don't know how the best way to divide this up is, but I'll do the best I can. There comes Mr. Madrin back in. Hello, guys. What you making, Mom? This is for homecoming. Homecoming. It smells like a church supper up in here. Sounds good. Smells good. What's that? Oh, this is the good stuff. Good stuff. You can, actually, you can actually taste that yeah. if you want to. Got Parmesan cheese. All and, right. And sour cream. Mm. You ever made that before? I have. Have I ever had that before? I think you have. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got a fresh spoon because... He's licking the other one. <laughs> you, they can't see it. <laughs> All right. So this is our homecoming. This is what we're taking to our church potluck homecoming meal. All right, there's, and I'm just going to get up in the morning and stick this in the oven. So the hard part is done. You better get up early, girl. I always do. Okay, guys. Y'all, can y'all believe this? You could do this in a crock pot, too, if you wanted to. But I'm just going to do it in this so it's easy to transport. We can throw it away. I don't have to worry about unless there's leftovers, which I doubt. But if there's leftovers, we'll bring them home. But if not... The tin pans, they can just toss them. I don't have to worry about cleaning anything, and nobody else has to worry about cleaning my stuff either. All right, guys. I'm going to wrap these up, get them in the refrigerator. I'll see you in the morning. Y'all, it is smelling like a church supper up in here. 
and it is a church supper. Today's our homecoming, and we're getting ready to get, take this food to the church. I have got it out of the oven. I uncovered it for just a few minutes just to let it get a little brown around the edges. Not majorly brown, but we're going to get Bryant to taste it before he heads out. He's got to get there early to let the singing group in, and then I've got to load our food up and carry it. So that'll be a hoot, me doing that by myself. But anyway, let me fix him a little sample because every good cook does a little bit of quality control before they take their food anywhere. So I'm going to get him to do it, and um, I'll see you right back here in just a second. Okay, guys, well, let me show it to you. There it is. Um, I'm actually going to stick it back in the oven for just a minute, just because I'm not ready to go, and I want it to stay good and warm. Look, all clean shaven, took a bath. All right, I just, I just chunked him up because I don't want to lose much of it. That's right. Here we go. All right, what else in this? Oh, I don't know. Don't get any on your clothes, please. You don't know what all's in this? Yeah, I know what's in it. I said what's in this. You said I don't know. Well, I don't want to tell you. Oh. <laughs> mm, here we go. Come into camera view. But I can watch me eat. <laughs> really, really tasty. That's what Judas says. Really, really tasty. Really tasty. Really good. I can taste Parmesan. It's Caesar chicken. It's got Caesar dressing. Really good. And sour cream. Yeah. And Parmesan. That's definitely a keeper. That's a that's a really good go-to right there. And I can just uh, scoop whatever the goodness is off the top. <laughs> and eat it by itself. All right. All right. Well, we will. Um, I'll get this. Definitely stick this a back 10 in out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah, really good. I'm going to stick this back in the oven. Just keep it warm till I'm ready to go. He's heading out now. Um, to let our singing group in, yep. and so we're going to head to church. All right, guys. See ya. Thank you for watching The Farm and Pastor's Wife, and remember, if the it, grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. <laughs> Bye, y'all.